Hi, and welcome back to Two Bears Trekking. Today we are doing our review of the Celebrity Reflection. Absolutely. Um, I have a little bit of a confession to make. Mm -hmm. I may have been mistaken uh, to set all this in context. <laughs> yes. I think I, I was saying this was my 37th cruise. It's definitely my 39th. I missed a couple of cruises. Uh, yeah, you did so many. <laughs> I've yeah. done so many. Yeah. And it actually, I'm still getting down to the nitty gritty. It might have actually been my 40th, but we'll, we'll let you know officially. Yes. Uh, eventually. All right. This was your first cruise. It was my first cruise. I had a great time. We'll talk about it as we're going through here. Yep. Yep. All right. So uh, let's start off with the ship. Well, right. we did a whole deck by deck ship tour. And check it out. People yes. are, seem to be loving uh, that format. Mm -hmm. So uh, we check it some... out. It. I mean, we cover uh, all the things going on there, and we're not going to cover those specifics yep. in this video. But here we are going to talk about the cabin. Yes. Um, so we booked a prime inside mm -hmm. cabin. Uh -huh. uh, which of those little square ones? So a uh, bit of a different shape than the rectangular standards. I loved it. A lot of space. A lot of space to move around. Um, I mean, there wasn't a couch there, you know, but that's okay. Right. We didn't miss it. There was no. a single chair. We, mm -hmm. we didn't spend a lot of time in the cabin. Right. No, not really at all. I mean, bathroom was nice. You know, had that bow out, you know, thing. You know, they they are shower. nice and big. Yeah, mm -hmm. plenty of room in the shower mm -hmm. um, and plenty of room to kind of move around. Just enough storage room. Um, do love the cabins on this class. But let's show. talk about the steward because we're going to pull him out because, yeah, well, you'll you'll know here in a second. Let's talk about him. Yeah, he was a standout. He amazing. He was the probably the best service we got, along with guest relations. Mm -hmm. um, yes, mm -hmm. and whenever we needed something, he was right there. He was constantly listening. He was astute. I mean, we would say we needed something, and he would disappear, bring it back to us, or it would be in our room when we got there. Always back had, from it. Always had clean wine glasses. Oh, it's amazing. Um, uh, the only place he did drop the ball, and I think he felt so bad that oh, was on yeah. pool towels. Oh yeah. And he saw we had to go and get our own, and he was like, "Oh, oh I didn't do that." <laughs> no, but aside from <laughs> well, that, and right. that was a minor thing, he was exceptional. Um, and it is luck of the draw with cabin steward, depending mm -hmm. on where you are. But in general, I do find them to be uh, attentive and excellent. Absolutely. So that's right. great. Let's jump. Uh, let's jump to food. What do you say? Oh, my gosh. I love food. Oh, don't we all? That's why you go on a cruise, right? All the food. Mm -hmm. So so this is your first time with cruise ship food. You might have been a little bit spoiled. I know uh, we just give you an honest review, folks. Yes. Um, and, you know, some people have accused uh, us of being negative, but we're just being honest that's that's what we're all about we're just going to give you the facts give you our honest opinion and you can choose what you want to do with it yeah you need to experience it for yourself and yes. make your own decisions mm -hmm. um so i've been uh, cruising celebrity since the early 90s before royal caribbean took them over so my perspective on food uh back then if you you cruise back then and drop me a note down below it was just phenomenal like it, it can't be touched today in the mass market okay let's start with the cafe Okay, the Ocean View Cafe. Mm -hmm. That's that buffet where you can get anything from breakfast all the way up to late night snacks mm -hmm. at 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, the pizza, the ice cream, right. both mediocre. Mediocre. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are snack fillers. Right. Uh, let's uh, quickly talk about breakfast. Um, a lot of repeats, a lot of filler foods. Yes, a lot of filler foods. I mean... If you like carbs, go for it because there's breads and pastries and all this kind of stuff. We don't eat that. We try to be eat clean. Yeah. You know, eat a lot of protein. You know, we're, we want to stay healthy. So the um, yeah. So the food there, we only eat breakfast a couple of mornings. On that last morning, I did try um, some eggs Benedict from the maid to order, mm -hmm. uh, and I love hash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It um, it it just was not. It was not that great. It was more like maid to put together the right. made to order. Made order. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, so the freshness. What we did find, though, for breakfast... <laughs> oh, yes. The Spa Cafe. Spa Cafe. Go on up to the Spa Cafe because, I mean, they have, you know, samplings, kind of a little small, you know... A lot fresher. Absolutely. Cleaner. Yeah. And what? we're not big breakfast eaters. So no, no. We do like our coffee, though. And we loved the hideaway except until we the realized coffee there was, was no coffee going away. on there. Miss all over the place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, either no cups, um, no coffee, and we tried. You know, we were patient and hung in for a few days, but they they never got it right. So we just 
Went, ditch that, went up to the spa cafe. And there's great. plenty of coffee there, plenty of snacks. Great uh, service. At great service. Cafe. Absolutely. Go there. Definitely so, go there. All right. Um, the highlight of the ocean view is at lunch. Yes. And I think you'll hear people echo that. The biggest mm -hmm. selection, mm -hmm. uh, the best foods. Mm -hmm. I loved the Indian food. That was good. I didn't have a lot of it. You, it was, oh, it was on your plate it. every meal almost. Uh, it was. And part of that, though, was a lack of um, good variety um one of the things i would find myself eating a lot of is a salad salad every day mm -hmm. uh, because it's so convenient mm -hmm. um and they used to vary it up the types of greens you had and the fixings not so much anymore it's no. it's like kind of the same thing every day every buffet right. um which i was a little bit disappointed in but i was glad that it was there right right um veggies fresh veggies mm -hmm. a, a little bit lacking Again, a lot of carbs and filler foods. Right. Um, and a lot of people were loving that, you know. Right. Different. And if, it, if it's your thing, you, you'll you'll be plenty you'll there for it. you. Different Absolutely. pastas. We're not really pasta no, eaters. No, no. So, um, so that a little bit tougher for us. Let's just talk about the desserts there. At oh, oh, dear. Uh, well, a, a few are exceptional. Mercy me. Holy moly, yes. Yeah. <laughs> These heaping bowls of bread pudding with oh, sauce. And then, then then the vanilla sauce on top. I gained a few pounds. I know I did. Uh, and there was a great cobbler one oh. day. You know, the cakes are the same. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, you know, it's it's hit or miss. you got to yeah. just be careful. But I will say the best desserts were over by the ice cream. They hit them over there. Yeah, they snuck them in. Go over there uh, and find them. Mm -hmm. Sneaky. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Because so. um, they didn't have enough to go around. Those would run out. They're very quickly. <laughs> That's where you went and got them. Um, for dinner buffet there. Um, again, we're going to do a, a special food video mm -hmm. on all the rumblings, you know, of all the cutbacks. Right. Um, and talk about that in more depth in a future time. So make sure you, uh, subscribe. Absolutely. Ring the bell for notification. Give a thumbs up. You know, visit us on twobearstracking.com. You know, share this. All right. So that dinner buffet, again, um, a little bit more heavy on the cobs. If you're meat and potatoes, you're gonna you're gonna love it. You're gonna do great. They had a couple of uh, different meats at the carving stations mm -hmm. every night for the right. dinner buffet. Right. Um, and they did change it up, mm, which is nice. Which is nice. And we did uh, go up there a few nights um, to check it out. Mm -hmm. um, I think again, I ended up with a lot of Indian food. Right. <laughs> they did have the Asian stir fry, which I do normally love. For some reason on this cruise, like I didn't, I didn't get it. Did you get it? No, I, I think I might have tried it once. Yeah, but not not a lot. So you could do that, and they have Mexican samplings mm -hmm. and everything. So be, uh, plenty of different selections for the average mm -hmm. cruise passenger. Right. Um, for us, it was just because because we do eat a little bit cleaner and more veggies and protein, um, a little bit, you know. But we did eat most of them. I mean, we had a lunch. We're going to go down to, you know, the main dining room. Oh, the lunch in the dining room. Yeah, that was exceptional. It was, I think I got short ribs. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. They, fall off the bone. They were me. delicious. Delicious. That lunch was fantastic. That yes. whole day was just crazy. We had that, a great day. That lunch mm -hmm. was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So don't forget about lunch in the dining room. Right. right. Now we also had dinner in the dining room and we're not going to talk about the service. We're going to talk about the food right the now. The food, strictly. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, you have to be careful. And you'll hear me when I talk about food in our, our food video. Uh, you just have to be careful and learn what to pick and choose. Right, right. Which I'm very good at. Right, right. It wasn't bad. Uh, it was... Uh, okay. I yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, one evening, that last evening, the food, our entire meal from beginning to end was excellent. Yes. Yep. Um, we had a couple of other hits and misses, but overall, um, very good food mm -hmm. there in the dining room. Yes. We did not partake in any specialty restaurants. Nope. But we're going to mention two things. Mm -hmm. The gelato. Oh, <laughs> You should definitely pay some extra cash on that gelato. <laughs> yes. I think it's well worth it mm -hmm. over the ice cream up at the buffet. Yes. And oh, and then just right just next to that. Pastries. Oh, yes. Uh, now, where was that? that uh, El Baccio. El Baccio. Uh, yes. It was great. We always stopped and got, you know, a little. And ran into the cruise director. Oh, right? talked a few times there. So <laughs> if the cruise director is stopping by there, you know that's where you get your desserts. Yep. And mm. they're complimentary. So complimentary. That's great. Can't Love it. that. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we didn't do room service on nope. the sailing. No. Either. No. Okay. Where do we go next? Are we going to go? Oh, let's go to service. Go to service. Okay. We've already talked about the steward, so we're not going to talk about him. Phenomenal. Yes. So the service up at the buffet. Mm hmm. Mixed bag. 
Would that be the best way to say it? Yes. And and um, from the my past, I'm used to them being a little bit more attentive, maybe helping you with your plate, helping you find a spot, helping you with your, your drink, because you can only juggle so much at one time. Right, right. right. And if it's a crowded day, finding a space... Um, it can be challenging, although we didn't, it wasn't too bad, only a couple of times. Right. Um, usually they're quick to clear. Mm -hmm. um, they'll come around, they'll chat with you, right. they'll joke around. Uh, a lot less of that. A lot less. Um, and I mean, uh, the with regards to removing our plates and stuff, there was times that we would eat our entire meal, uh, our plates would be stacking up, and we'd end up just leaving them there. You know? So it's a place for improvement. Yes. All right. Um, we're going to save the dining room service at um, dinner for last, and you'll mm -hmm. see why uh, yes. when you see the harpoon coming. Yep. Um, <laughs> as we said, guest relations, excellent. But mm -hmm. the reason we had to go to guest relations because um, the martini bar. So we had prepaid for martini flight. We didn't have a drink package. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to check this out because we've heard great things. Right. When, when they opened, the bartender was very attentive mm -hmm. initially but then kind of fell off and disappeared. Right. Um, and it was not busy because they had just opened. Mm -hmm. The assistant, again, was hit and run when he brought took our cards, brought the bill. and I liked your term, hit and run, because we felt yeah. like we, we got service at the beginning and then it just dropped off. Yeah, unfortunately. And, and that was very much what we experienced the entire sailing. And mm -hmm. if, you're, uh, if you have a package, if you're a big drinker, if you go to the same places all the time, they will be very attentive. Right. But if you're not, sort of everybody, I think, else falls off that cliff i feel like yes mm -hmm. and that's so it's a ho-hum so he, see, he was very annoyed at us because we didn't specifically tell him we had the package mm -hmm. but when you they swipe it like you should be able to it, see it it should come up mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. should and so i think it was more of a failing of them and guest relations weren't happy with the way they uh handled it but guest relations did they took care, take of, it. care of it yeah like same job yeah absolutely 100 yeah. percent so, um, service in the dining room. Service in the dining room. Can you tell our tone here? Okay. <laughs> Hit and miss is another great description. Yes. Uh, and I, I feel that aside from one night, it was a lot of misses. So, and, and let me caveat this. We had anytime dining. Mm -hmm. We dined in the dining room four evenings for dinner. We mm -hmm. had reservations for every single evening mm -hmm. and we basically didn't have to wait. No. Except for one night when they were very busy. Right. And um, if you have a fixed seating, you may likely have a different experience. Right. But we're going to go with our experience and tell you what we thought. Yeah. So we had different wait staff every single night. Mm -hmm. Although that's not what was going to happen. No. It's a choice we made as um, it were. <clears throat> hit or miss they seemed very frazzled the mm -hmm. assistants disappeared basically mm -hmm. every single night one i think i'm not sure we saw an assistant no which wasn't a bad thing because that waiter was very efficient yes not the, personable the, but efficient right the maitre d guy i don't know what his job was uh no he he wasn't very effective and no. i have seen compared to my last celebrity cruise where mm -hmm. the maitre d was literally going and finding hunting down the dessert i loved mm -hmm. um and and he did that um without being asked no. um so uh yes and we did have to in, you had to interact with the maitre d i did okay that it was the third night yes okay the third yeah. night I will say it was our worst experience. I, I'd be, I'm just gonna be quite candid. Train wreck. A train wreck. I mean, the the assistant uh, disappeared completely. If we even saw them at the very beginning, um, there was an issue with regards to silverware. I mean, we were using butter knives to, to cut, cut steak. I mean, what's up with that? <laughs> uh, water wasn't being refilled. Uh, crumbs all over the table all the Dirty time. Dishes Dirty sat there dishes for sat. Twenty minutes, we, and then we walked out. Yeah, we and they went. What? You're not having dessert? Why should we have dessert? <laughs> what do we have? Just the worst experience. I. That's the point at which I talked to the maitre d. The guy was tone deaf. I mean, right. I've Nothing. done customer service. I know what he, that he should be doing, and he didn't do it. He didn't do his job. No, he didn't do his job. And then the following night, they proceeded to try and seat us in the same exact section. Ain't happening. No <laughs> right. way. Uh, no. I don't think so. No. So they took us back to the front. <laughs> they found us a different seat because we said, it, we're not seating there. And we explained to them what happened the previous night. Yes. They stuck us in the best experience we had. He was... Phenomenal. This guy, it was like butter. This guy, he was doing stuff. 
He was doing like magic. Stealth. Like you didn't even know he was there. No, like... I mean, there was times I I looked up at Randy and while I was looking at Randy, the crumbs were being swiped off the table. Then I looked down and the crumbs were gone. I'm going, oh, where, <laughs> where, how did that happen? Where did they go? You know, I mean, silver ore is being replaced specifically for what serving we were doing right the and, way it should be yes and, and what I, the service the level of service i'm used to in the dining room on celebrity why well, i so, love it so much the last night this guy was on the mark we had a great night the redeemer night. yes thank goodness so all right so um and as far as service and friendliness around the rest of the ship mm -hmm. um very friendly you yeah. know good morning good morning how can we help you yeah so uh, very nice yeah and the crew staff mm -hmm. um a little young and inexperienced um uh this cruise director however very experienced and this mm -hmm. was his last sailing mm -hmm. um before he was heading out mm -hmm. um and just yeah and, and we had captain matt oh captain, and, matt. Yeah, captain matt oh hello oh, my, my name, name is captain matt, matt. i'm from and, the wonderful country <laughs> of greece yes he He's was a uh, hoot loved him and we saw him in the liars club oh, and uh, oh. definitely check that out and yes. liars club that brings us to entertainment entertainment so cruise staff entertainment okay we'll go with that first uh pretty good yes yeah um some better than others like mm -hmm. the liars club i love that they did a little uh q a session mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. uh, some of the crew staff mm -hmm. and entertainment mm -hmm. and the cruise director um and uh crew staff person and you got to know about them and life on ship that right. was a lot of fun that was mm -hmm. yeah uh they did game shows mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. well and they and then they had you know at the different venues they had different entertainment uh kind of a mixed bag there some was great some was okay some was phenomenal uh, you know, it's whatever you like. You know, there's a lot of money-based entertainment. Oh, so oh, that's a whole nother monkey. Yeah. Come and we'll teach you about diamonds. Come oh, and we'll teach you about wellness. Oh, and... hey, we'd like to buy some diamonds. Would you like to buy some <laughs> wellness things that we have? <laughs> How about, hey, let's get a painting. Do you want to buy a painting? We, yeah. we got an auction well, for you. I, I will tell you, I used to love the art auctions in the early days. And again, I've been doing art auctions since even prior to Park West. Yes, there was somebody who competed with Park West in the early days. Mm -hmm. um and it was just it was informative it was interesting the uh, art uh gallery personnel were actually um knowledgeable and um personable mm -hmm. I, I, but there was just way too much of it you know that kind of thing of and it, I, yeah. I just got it was my first experience and i was going what's going on here but we had movies movies up on the lawn oh, movies in the no. theater oh, the lawn club we even mentioned that that place oh yeah. my goodness yeah yeah you can see that in our deck by deck tour go joe check that out all right so uh the other two main parts mm -hmm. of the entertainment mm -hmm. one the ensembles mm -hmm. that you could see in the ensemble theater at the sunset bar at right. sail away mm -hmm. um and then also up on the pool deck yes yeah now the music generally on the pool deck was a bit loud well yes it yeah. made it difficult to enjoy that area right now we love the solarium it yes. was nice and quiet yes except exactly. for during family hours yes <laughs> uh we loved the silent well i'll say i loved the silent disco because it's silent it's silent you well that's another reason put your volume as loud as you want yeah and i was i was having a party my own little party right there mm -hmm. um i will say it, it was hit or miss one of the uh duos i did enjoy we enjoyed them in the ensemble lounge mm -hmm. um the gal who the single solo yeah with the acoustic, the acoustic guitar. guitar but acoustic kind of may be your thing if you like that you'll find something that you like we we found something yeah. we like i did and... miss a piano yeah. player like a piano music um because i do enjoy that with a drink mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. our our pre-dinner drinks were kind of musicless yes yeah Let's go with the other entertainment. Okay. The big, the big enchilada. The, the shows. The production shows. Mm -hmm. um, they have 18 in their Harper, so mm -hmm. you might see different ones. Uh, we, we had Euphoria, which was our <coughs> aerial yeah, the, show. Mm -hmm. We had Broken Strings, which is sort of our musical variety. Mm -hmm. And then there was another one. We'll pop it up on the screen. It right. was the first one. I can't remember. It was right. That. It was kind of uneventful. Yeah, that's the reason. Mm -hmm. And the, a lot of the entertainers are younger mm -hmm. than they used to be. Right. Um, which I think detracts from it. But we had some talented vocalists. Right. Um, um, you know, and okay dancers. Okay dancers. Okay dancers. Okay. Aerialist. It they, was weak. Yeah. I don't Air, want to say that. Uh, aerialist. They, it, was too, it was very simple. You know. It's um, not what you're going to see on Royal Caribbean. I think 
they gravitate more toward more towards Ariel acts a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, but the, if you've cruised Celebrity, it's no surprise. Celebrity has already been, always been middle of the road as far as production entertainment. Mm -hmm. They may have gotten away from the feathers, but uh, lack of storylines, um, so much so that the cruise director has to explain what the story is about prior exactly. to the show starting. Exactly. Um, that's a bad sign. Now, I mean, it, it's it's something to do in the evening. It is. It was it was enjoyable. Yeah. So I mean, and so you know, it, and feel free if you don't like the show, walk out. I mean, you're not yeah. stuck there. Sometimes, if if we thought, oh, this may not be great, mm -hmm. uh, we sat in a place where we could easily walk out. Right. A couple of nights, so we sat in the front row because we were like excited. Yes, and Broken Strings was one of those. Yes, right? absolutely. Having been in theater, done theater, directed theater, Broken Strings was their, in my opinion, the best show. They seemed to really enjoy the show, the energy. They got the the audience involved. Yep. That, that show was really good. The other half of that evening entertainment is uh, people they bring on. Mm -hmm. Like, usually there might be a magician. We didn't have one. No. Uh, there was a hypnotist instead on this one. We didn't go no. for mixed reviews. Yes. Um, uh, comedian. 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 And he did two shows. He did a family show and an adult style show. Neither one of them are really that great. Yeah. I mean, the, the adult show was better, but still, I've seen much better comedians on board now the gal who they brought on for the musical oh my music, and we didn't know about her we no. saw in the balcony because like we're like oh, uh, we might be able to sneak out she was from broadway oh, and you goodness. could tell she was it was it, she was ama amazing she's like somebody where i would go to both shows like if we had gone to mm -hmm. the seven like i'd go back at nine that's right how good she, she was. was really really good she uh we enjoyed that show. For yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. So well, let's do some ratings. Let's do some uh, bear ratings on this. Here All we right. go. Sounds good. So let, where overall, do we start? Oh, overall ship. Um, yeah. What we thought of the ship. It, um, My first cruise, I really enjoyed the ship itself. Uh, a lot of venues, a lot of places to hide out. Uh, you know, check the ship tour deck by deck. I would give it a, a solid B+. Plus. I'm going to go with an A minus. I love the Solstice class in particular. I love the reflection because they mm -hmm. um, have lots of great little hideaways and spaces. I love that lawn club. Mm -hmm. You love that sunset bar. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, it's still probably my favorite class of ships among really all mass market lines. Mm -hmm. Food. Food. Food for me was a mixed bag, both mm -hmm. in selection and quality, even though I'm very good at picking and choosing. Um, by picking and choosing selections got a little bit narrower on this sailing. Mm -hmm. So it's a B for me. Solid B for me. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm just, you'll that. find something. There's uh, plenty of selection. Um, and if, the, <laughs> if you don't see something you like, don't be afraid to order something else mm -hmm. or ask. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Service. Service. Aside from the steward, which is an A, no question. And guest relations A. Absolutely. Other service, we're Di gonna slide right down. Dining service uh, in the dining room was a C. I gotta break them out because, mm -hmm. except for that guy in the last night who was uh, who saved it all, and he was an A. I would give you a hundred percent agreement on that. C, yes, uh, it was bad. <laughs> um, so hunt out those exceptional mm -hmm. employees and make sure you note them. There are little cards at guest relations you can say wonderful things about Please. individual people yes. and drop it there. And that mm -hmm. helps them get promotion. Right. And let's jump on over to entertainment. Entertainment. Again, it's a middle of the road for me. Mm -hmm. um, celebrity has always been a B in my mind. And mm -hmm. this cruise did not disappoint. I would say I'm going to go uh, a, a middle of the road B. Yep. We had mm -hmm. some exceptional um, entertainment. Um, but generally speaking. But generally. Mm -hmm. middle of the road so all right well if you've enjoyed this mm -hmm. uh drop us a comment down below let us know your experience right absolutely we have two more celebrity cruises uh mm -hmm. planned mm -hmm. one on the equinox mm -hmm. uh and also which is solstice class there you go and then one on the brand new celebrity ascent -da -da! not even sailing my yet. goodness we're excited about that one uh, so excited and that's coming from my first time on edge class mm -hmm. believe it or not and join us if you want to on one of those. You know, we'll go out and enjoy a beverage with you. You know, maybe in, enjoy some, some food as well. All right. We're bringing this to a close. Yes. So, so as always, keep, keep on, on trekking. trekking.